Hi guys, it's Christy Blake, and I'm coming to you for my week 40 video. Um, I know I've been kind of like skipping weeks, but I decided this week to not take the week off that I wanted to come to you for my week 40. So, um, uh, again, I'm Christy Blake, and I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on June 19th, 2013. Um, with Dr. Emma Patterson here in Portland, Oregon. And I, my highest weight was 258. Um, surgery date, day of surgery weight was 250. Uh, last week I was 182. And this week I'm 181. So, anyways, um, I just kind of decided that I think I need to make my videos every week again. Um, it holds me accountable, and even though I don't have a lot to say, I know I can get on here really quick and give you guys an update of how things are going, because, um, at least I'd like to do that for the next, at least till I get to a year, if not 18 months, which is the window. Um, you know, I've just been kind of discouraged. A lot of people are hitting their goals already that have been in the start of the journey, like, a week or two or a month before me or after me. Um... But, you know, everyone's so different, and a lot of people actually never even reach their goal, um, but get close and are still perfectly happy with everything. So, um, I just, uh, I'm not trying not to be discouraged, and I am not, I'm, I swear I'm not discouraged. I just, uh, am so trying not to compare yourself to others, um, me as well, I have a hard time with that sometimes, and, um, but that is the enemy, so don't ever compare yourself to others if you can avoid it. I know it's our natural natural want um, as a human being to do that, but best to not compare yourself. Um, so I feel like I've definitely slowed down on my journey, but I am continuing to go in the right direction, which is great. Um, I, I really just wanted to get on here this week and thank everybody for the support last week. Um, I know I came to you really confused and scatterbrained, and um, you gave me some really good feedback, many of you, and I followed it this week, um, a lot of it, and I feel good. So I just wanted to say thank you to um, those that gave me good advice, which um, some of it was just do what you love um, as far as working out and stuff. You know, I have been like dealing with the high keeping my heart under 120 or whatever and this week I just said screw it and I went to the body um total body conditioning class on Tuesday and I sweat my ass off um I got so sweaty 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 I was like dripping sweat and I'm like not a sweater um but it was it was sweat city for sure um and it felt good like it was a hard class but I totally kept up with everybody and I just feel like I'm almost where I want to be. <laughs> Not quite there. I've got to keep pushing myself, but um, I'm feeling really good and feeling really active. And, you know, like, I walk faster than my husband now. Like, that was never the case before. Like, I was always like, wait for me, honey. And, like, now I'm like, come on, honey, what are you doing? Like, I my quick little short steps because I'm a shorty. Um. So, anyways, I did that class and... I feel good about it. I feel like, you know, you, along this journey, we do get a lot of advice from coworkers, um, not coworkers, from your doctors and from other people that watch your channel or if you don't watch, um, if you're in like, uh, groups on Facebook or whatever support that you have, family members that don't even probably know what to tell you, uh, friends, um, I think we get a lot of different advice from different people and, it's really important to kind of sit back sometimes and listen to your body. You know, like the, my scale was not moving for two months. Like I went back and watched my videos to get my weight, which I wish I'd been tracking. If you're a newbie and you're watching this week 40 video, which I don't know, um, most newbies watch from the beginning. But if you're a newbie and walk, watching this video, like just get a pad and paper on your fridge or in your bathroom or whatever and just... Write down your weight every week. You don't even have to do it every day. Just do it every week. Just do a Sunday weigh-in and write down your weight. 
Um, because it was really cool to go back to that, or your surgery anniversary. So I'm, I had surgery on a Wednesday, so every Wednesday maybe do um, a, like a check-in because I think it'd be cool to go back and look at that. Um, I kind of tracked it on my, my fitness pal, but since I haven't been entering so much anymore, it, that data is kind of invalid right now. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for kind of bringing me back to listen to your body and do what you think you should do. My body is telling me that I'm young and I mean, I'm 37, but I'm young and, um, I can, I can work out a little harder and, you know, if I'm losing muscle doing that, whatever, I'm going to go do some weights and try to get it back. So I don't really know, you know, there's a lot of science to it and I've been trying to listen to it, but as far as losing weight, it's not helping me to keep my heart rate that low. And, um, it's just my weight loss is a lot slower, um, than I want it to be. So I don't know if that's because of my eating, which I don't think is that bad. Um, I pretty much stay on track most days. Um, and I'm in the gym like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, sometimes I take another day off, but but I'm in the gym at minimum of four days a week, um, and weightlifting, trying to do that every day. So I just feel like I need to pump it up, and I'm and I'm I'm choosing to do that in the gym. I could definitely choose to do the five day pouch test, or um, I don't know what else I could do. I guess eat less, but I'd probably be hungry because I'm hungrier now. So I don't know. Um, the, the other thing I've been thinking that possibly could do that I kind of wanted to get your feedback on is I was talking to a friend and she's tiny, you know, she's tiny, but trying to get fit after she had babies. And, um, she goes to a trainer and she, the trainer has been, she's just trying to tone. She's not trying to lose weight. The trainer has been telling her to have like 170, 120, maybe 120 grams of protein a day and my doctors are saying 60 to 70 um so I don't know if it's that I physically can't eat more than 60 or 70 because I actually probably could but um that's what he's telling her so that she can build muscle and that's what I'm trying to do build muscle so maybe I need to step up my protein so I wanted to just get the feedback of you guys um I know men and women might be a little bit different but what your doctors and nutritionists are telling you or what, um, how much protein are you eating a day? Um, and are you eating it? And do you feel like you're maintaining more muscle that way? I don't know if you're tracking it as hardcore as my doctors are, but, um, I'm interested to find out about that. So maybe I need to step up my protein would be a way to keep my muscle. So, cause that, that definitely scientifically and bodybuilders and all those, not that I want to be a bodybuilder, but they do eat a lot of protein. Um, so anyways, and I do have protein before and after I work out. Um, I pretty much eat protein at every meal. <laughs> I don't know what else to do, but I'm just trying to like, you know, nine months out, you tend to get like just stagnant. So I'm just trying to figure out what works for me. So um, thank you everyone last week and keep those comments coming. I read every single one of them. I love to hear what you guys are doing and what's working for you or what's not working. If you're in a stall, what do you think it is? Um, you know, these are questions that I ponder every day about everyone. Um, have you ever seen Joe versus the volcano when she goes, the dark curls of his hair covered the empty. No? Brain cloud? Brain, he has a brain cloud. Yeah, it's, it's a funny movie. Joe versus the volcano. Go rent it right now and watch it. It's midnight. It's almost one in the morning. You know, I could just order it up. You could come over. We could have some popcorn. Except that we're not really supposed to eat popcorn. But you know what? I eat popcorn all the time. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm so sneaky. That's why I, the scale wasn't moving, huh? Because I eat popcorn all the time. I'm a popcorn addict and a cupcake addict. No, I'm just kidding. 
I don't eat it all the time. Just a special treat once in a while. No, I'm boring. I stay within the... I'm not really like a living on the edge girl. I kind of stay within the box. Like I'm playing with my clip. Vogue, 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 Vogue. Um, hey, you guys are going to Tampa. Ooh, ooh. Dance for me on the boat. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I'm jealous that you're going on a cruise, but I just found out I'm going on one next spring, so I'm excited about that with my friends and my husband. Um, but Tampa, if you're going, you rock. I'm, I'm so jealous. You can hang out with all my friends. I mean, I don't even know who's going, but I know Sarah's going, or Norgan and Chris and less of Sarah, and I don't know, uh, Kirk, and Jamie, you know, the VSG club, I, they're all going, um, so, anyways, it should be a fun time, I'm sure there'll be lots of trouble, which, you know, I'm a in-the-box girl, again, so I don't know if I really mesh with all those peeps, um, but anyways, if you go to the land version or whatever, wherever the classes are, and you find out something cool that I just need to know about, please tell me, because I am like a total sponge when it comes to that stuff. I love to like suck in information. I'm like get obsessed about it. I'm totally good at that. Um, so anyways, have fun in Tampa. Be safe. Don't get too drunk and end up in someone else's room, because beds aren't very comfortable anyways. Like, I don't even get why people go on cruises for their honeymoon. If you did that, please enlighten me. Those beds are not comfortable. Who would want to spend their honeymoon on a cruise? I mean, I know it's affordable option, and it is one of the most non-hassle vacations I've ever been on, because I've been on a couple. So you just get on the boat, and then you just eat whatever you want, and you don't have to pay for anything except for alcohol. It's pretty cool. And then you get off the boat, go lay on the beach somewhere in the Caribbean. I mean, it's a pretty rad vacation, but for honeymoon, I don't know. I just don't, don't get that. Um, anyways, I won't keep you because I really should go to bed right now. Um, should I do a body shot? Okay. Um... So that's me, 5'4", 181, week 40. That is what you have to look forward to. If you just had surgery, it is going to come off, baby. Every day gets better, and then it gets worse. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's great. Keep it up, people. Good work. Um, all right. Hopefully I'll come to you next week, and we can have some more fun. Uh, I'll try to make a video before midnight that would be good because who knows what's going down all right thank you um bye have a good week keep up the good work and do everything you're supposed to do and then the weight will fall off oh i have a joke what is the what is the um it's not a joke it's a statement right my husband told me this um being fat is the trophy for all the food, good food you get to eat, right? It could not be funny. Like, someone might be offended by that. But I think it's actually pretty funny because I'm missing all that good food. <laughs> but I have a different trophy. It's called calcium and L-carnitine. And Would you like me to pull out all my vitamins right now? You guys might think I'm drunk again. I'm not. All right, what's this? Veggie. Veggie Omega-3 Complex. It's like veggies in a bottle. Does anyone else hate vegetables? Hate vegetables. Not all vegetables. I like broccoli and green beans and mushrooms. Yeah. Now I'm just getting off subject. Okay, have a good week. I'll talk to you later.